This is Mike Dietrich speaking, and today I would like to guide you through an auto upgrade of two databases. So let's start with the config file. Uh, in the config file, we can define global and local parameters. So here I have a global and two sets of local parameters for each database one set. The global locking directory is defined at home Oracle locks. And for each database, I have also a local directory, a local logging directory, which are defined at exactly the same location. So it will be named just as the database unique name. DB name, DB12, SID DB12, and the other database is FTX. So these are the two databases of the hands on lab. Start time is now. And one database is in a 12.2, the other in an 11.204 home. So it's two different versions but I upgrade both of them to Oracle Database 19C. The upgrade node should be usually localhost, and the target version is 19C here. One database has no archive block mode on, so I override the guaranteed restore point by default. The other one, restoration, yes, is the default and requires the database is in, no arch is in archive block mode. Time zone upgrade, I skip that. And in addition for the FTX database, I would like to add three parameters after the upgrade. I could also add parameters during the upgrade or delete them during and after the upgrade. And it's a simple text file. So here are the three parameters. And I would like to have FTX these three parameters once the upgrade is completed. Now let's start with the auto upgrade itself. So I call Java minus char. And I downloaded the most recent version of the auto upgrade tool from the MOS node you'll find on my blog. I copied it to RDBMS admin in the 19c directory. I pass on the config file I showed you before, home oracle scripts db.cfg. And I start with mode analyze. So the analyze mode is best practice to run at first, because if the analyze mode completes successfully, you can be sure that the database can be upgraded unattended. Two databases will be analyzed based on the config file I showed you before. And you see how many checks they have done. We have chops 100 for FTX and 101 for DB12. And quickly they finish. So it's just a pre-check, the pre-upgrade check, and some other system checks. And if you're typing quickly enough, you can also see how many checks remain. Both jobs finished successfully, so all is good. Both databases should be upgradable unattended with the auto upgrade tool. So I get back the command from before, but now I exchange the analyze with deploy. And deploy doesn't only run the analyze, but also the upgrade and the post upgrade. So two databases will be processed again. And let's see. Now the first thing you may recognize, for the same databases we have different job numbers, 102 and 103. And I quickly go to the log directory. So to show you that there's a subdirectory FTX and one DB12, so I go down to the FTX and here we'll find two directories with the job numbers, 100 and 102. The temp directory is something we use for ourselves or temporary copies of the Inidora, and these numbers correspond to what the console of the auto upgrade gives you. Now we have also the auto upgrade locks for the user, for the tool itself, and the error lock if something fails. And we have subdirectories for pre-checks, pre-upgrade, and pre-fix-ups. I go back to the tool, and the most important command is lsj list jobs. So you see now that the FTX database is in drain mode. That means it drains the connections. And when I repeat my ls command and the subdirectory for the loggings, you see now a drain and the db upgrade directory. I repeat lsj and you see that FTX is now running the upgrade. It started the upgrade. And a little bit later we will see also a percentage. But let's go to the log directory for the upgrade itself. And you see that we have four log files. As I have two CPU cores, the upgrade will be driven by default with four workers. And I will just tail minus F, the main workers log. This is the zero worker. 
to see, to check if the upgrade is really running. And you see, okay, there's a lot of noise going on. The upgrade seems to progress. So I can go back to the tools console. LSJ again. And here you see that it's 0% upgraded. So what we are doing is we don't poll the database now every second. We poll it uh, every two minutes by default. And the DB12 database is still in the pre fix ups phase. So let's drill a bit down and see what the, uh, these are doing. So status minus chop 103 gives me now more details about the DB12 database. So it generates at the moment the dictionary statistics. LSJ again. Still you see 0% upgraded for FTX. It takes a bit until we get more information. I drill down here as well with status minus chop 102. LSJ again. Now you see it's 1% and the upgrade is progressing. So that looks good. DB12 is doing the pre fix ups. Remaining are three of four tasks. So let me drill down a bit and see what tasks need to be done. FTX in upgrade 1%. Now status minus chop 103 for the DB12 database. And you see dictionary stats have been done, prefix up stats, mandatory upgrade changes, and the recycle bin has been purged as well. So that looks good. DB12 is now in drain mode. So I would like to see also the subdirectory there. I go to DB12. And as we have the job number here, 103, I go to 103. So you see the auto upgrade logs, you see the subdirectories. Everything is there, same thing as for the FTX database. Now a little bit later, FTX is at 39%, DB12 at 23%. More details, status minus chop 102. Let's drill a bit down what else we get when I say status minus chop. So we see the progress, uh, start time, we see what stage the database is in right now. So it's an upgrade, four steps are pending. The DB upgrade runs for 19 minutes, it's in progress right now, 39%. And you see also where the locks are. So no need to remember where the locations are. You find it always with status minus job number. 88% and 49%. That's good. Progressing. Now FTX, this is 95%. DB12 at 56. Let's see. FTX seems to enter now the compile phase. So it started compiling invalid objects, building up the jobs, I guess. I repeat that a little bit later. Still at 95%. Still building up the chops. I repeat that again. And now you see quickly a few locks. The upgrade summary lock of FTX. The upgrade is completed. We see the timing. So all the standard locks you will find during a regular database upgrade. They exist plus a lot of locks more. 26 minutes it took. That's in a VM environment with two databases and just two physical CPU cores. So that's not so bad. Let me check FTX again. Now the compilation seems to have started. All together we need to compile 2,296 objects. And as we don't pull the database now every second, it may be already compiling for one or two minutes. So let's repeat LSJ again. Still 0% compiled. Now a little bit later, 91. So this jump comes just from not polling the database every second. 91 looks good, almost done. But I worry my DB up, DB12 database still stays at 67% for quite a while. FTX has 196 objects to compile, but what is actually the other database doing? Still 67%. And again, now FTX is restarting, that's good. The upgrade is finished. 
Now post upgrade stage is the next thing and if I wouldn't have skipped it also the time zone upgrade. But what is the DB12 database doing? Let me check the log files quickly. So I'm still in the upgrade directory. That's good. But for DB for FTX, I would like to see the DB12 upgrade directory, not the FTX. So I drill down here and to chop 103 and to DB upgrade. And let me tail also the main workers lock. That's the cut upgrade zero workers lock, tail minus F and zero dot lock. Yeah, it's still upgrading. So there was a phase ending it right now and it's still action happening. So that's good. So all should be fine. Let's see. FTX is now in a post fix ups phase. Uh, I'm interested what things is it doing? Status minus chop 102. So here you see fixed object stats have been generated. Now we do post dictionary stats. We refresh the dictionary after the upgrade and some important structures in the dictionary get extra statistics. DB upgrade for DB12 is still running at 91%. And now 102, the FTX database is completed and shortly after the DB12 will complete as well. As soon as you get the end time in the list here, so finished and end time, then the database is really completely upgraded. But I set also extra parameters and I do a quick check with the SP file and you see my cursor obsolete threshold and my open cursor parameters are set so the database is upgraded successfully. That looks very good.